Dear ladies and gentlemen, the past months have been very challenging for the people of Ukraine and neighboring countries. The conflict is having a tremendous impact on the well-being of the population and has strongly impacted the delivery of mental health care. On 28th of February, the European Psychiatric Association issued its first statement calling for an end to the Russian aggression and asking for an end to the war. It also immediately established contact via its active network of National Psychiatric Association, NPAs, with representatives of Ukraine and neighboring countries to better understand the current obstacles in access to care for persons in need. We have established our EPA Solidarity Network where NPA representatives, including Professor Natalia Maruta, acting president of the Association of Neurologists, Psychiatrists and Narcologists of Ukraine, and Professor Jersey Samovich of the Polish Psychiatric Association, gather regularly to discuss pressing needs and practical support EPA can provide. The most urgent request which was received at one of our first Solidarity Network meetings was from psychiatric hospitals in Ukraine for medications and other urgently needed materials. Acting quickly, and thanks to the support received in particular from our German NPA and the Bavarian Parliament, the APA was able to purchase medications and organize transport for them to be delivered to currently two hospitals in Ukraine, but more efforts are required are in, on the way. Due to the war, patients who are already receiving care have been transferred to other hospitals in Ukraine, often with limited access to resources necessary to provide appropriate care. We know that Ukrainian psychiatrists and psychologists are doing their best for every patient refugee, child and family, providing as much support as possible. You will hereby like to affirm our support and solidarity with all those who are experiencing the effects of Russia's you know, attack on Ukraine. On behalf of members of the Council of NPAs and the whole European Psychiatric Association, we wish to declare our readiness to help. In particular, we support all activities that aim to provide assistance to those who are experiencing mental health crisis and to support professionals who continue to look after their patients after these dramatic circumstances. Psychiatric hospitals in Ukraine continue to operate, albeit under very difficult conditions and have urgent needs in terms of medication, toiletries, and food. The Polish Psychiatric Association has started it, its action of humanitarian aid four weeks ago, from the very beginning, with financial help from Italian and French psychiatric associations and the EPA president and staff. So far, we've bought and sent supplies to psychiatric hospitals, and we want to reassure our colleagues in Ukraine that EPA and the whole Council of NPAs will try to help and support them and their patients by all possible means. Let's get European psychiatrists, mental health workers, and the mental health community at large involved in these efforts. As Professor Falkite explained, the EPA has established a Fund for Ukraine for supporting Ukrainian psychiatric patients and uh, units by collecting money for purchasing medication, equipment, and basic necessities, which are then shipped to Ukraine. We have created a fund for Ukraine, and we invite all partners and individuals to make donations for buying new stocks of medicines and other needed goods so that we can organize the purchase and delivery via our already tested and successful route. Please disseminate the information about the Found for Ukraine among the members of your 
and PA and your colleagues and the wider community if each and every member of the NPA were to donate just one euro and we hope that you would donate a bit more we could perhaps reach one of our goals of purchasing a bigger piece of much needed equipment uh, for example an ambulance or an electricity generator it is essential now more than ever to join forces and show our support and solidarity to ensure access to mental health care including ongoing care to those patients who are already in treatment in Ukraine whether in ambulatory or in the hospital we need your help and that of your society and we need to act together now if you want to join us in this very important initiative you can have a look at our website where you will find more information on the EPA fund for Ukraine and the link to donate thank you there are 44 societies from 40 european countries i strongly believe that we can organize those resources and we must work hard to continue providing our support thank you mm -hmm.